Good evening, teacher. Hello, hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I Great. was afraid because I, I thought that I was a mistake because I didn't see you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 thank you. I just finished one class, right? That's why. Okay, okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay. It's hot today. It's very hot. It's hot? Mm, no, for me, it's cool. You are from San Vicente, right? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Because you are living in San Miguel? No, 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 no. I live no. in San Salvador. Uh, but I, actually, I know why I'm hot. Because okay. I, I recently drank a big cup of coffee, hot coffee. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah, before the class, I was drinking coffee. So maybe that's why I'm very, very hot right now. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Hello, Marcella, are you there? Yeah, hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm all right, thank you. Everything good? Yeah. All right, Brenda? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Are you sad today? Uh, no, a little tired. Yeah, what did you do today? Uh, I work all day. And do you go, right? Uh, no. No, I'm sorry. Where do you work? In juridical office. Oh, yes. You are the lawyer. No. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. No, because yesterday I remember a lot of you have cameras. Now I don't see any. I, I only see Juan Hernandez. Hi, Juan. Okay. <laughs> now. Now I don't see any. Ah, oh, there's Yesenia. Thank you. <laughs> there's Helen. <laughs> okay. The reason because uh, we look like very tired. <laughs> wow, it is nine at night. Everybody should be tired. <laughs> it, it's okay to look tired in this moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Cordelia. How are you? I I think your microphone is not working today. Hi, I fine, thank you, and you? I'm okay, thank you. All right, cool. Luis, Lisette, Diana, Herbert, Byron. Helen, everyone's here then. Hi, teacher. How are you? Uh, that's okay, and you? How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Oh, fine. All right. Let me see. Let me see here. Okay. Um, so today we're going to practice frequency. I think I did this with my class before. We're going to use the frequency adverbs, how to say always, sometimes, never. Okay. So I'm going to share the screen with you. Tell me if you see my screen. Yes. Yes. Oh, great. You see the screen, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. OK, now, number two, tell me if you can hear the video. Oh, and uh -huh. the video only see um, this dark but, screen and some pictures. Okay, good. No, I'm going to press play right now, and please tell me if you can hear the video. Ah, uh, okay. Can you hear the video? Yes. No. No. Who said yes? So you did not hear the woman talk? No. Hmm. No, I don't hear. No. 
Okay. So I don't, I don't know why the audio is bad. Okay, but that's no problem. We'll do it my way. Okay. So close. 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 Okay, do you see my screen now? Yes. yes. Okay, we're going to practice yes. with never. And always. And always. What is never and always? Always is frequent, is every day. The habit that you do in okay, your good. life every day. Okay, I like that. But it's not necessarily every day because, for example, do you go to church every day? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what is the question? Do you go to church every day? Uh, no, oh, I, don't, I didn't. Okay, but normally, normally, like a normal person, a normal person goes to church every Sunday, correct? Every Sunday, yes. So in this category, church is every, every, every Sunday. So you can say, I always go to church. But we understand that church is Sundays, correct? Correct. So it's, okay, but very good, thank you. Always is this action, you do it 100% of the time. Okay. 100% of the time. Like in my case, I always drink coffee. <laughs> in my case, I always drink water. Okay, good. I, I mean, too, I always drink coffee and water mm -hmm. only. Okay. So if always is 100%, what do you think never is? Zero percent. Exactly, zero percent. Now, in my case, I never, ever eat cream. Really? Yeah, I don't. I hate cream. I vomit with cream. Why? Why? I don't know. Cream and yogurt, I, I don't like. But it's a problem. Even if, if I smell... Oh, I get sick. <laughs> so I never eat cream or yogurt. Uh, what about you, Carolina Hernandez? What is something you never do? Okay, Adriana, what is something you never do? Hi, teacher. Hi, Adriana. Uh, question? Yeah, tell me something you never do. Something. Um. Mm, tell, me, tell me something you never do. You never do. Mm. No. <laughs> Do you smoke? Uh, smoke? Uh, fumar? Yes. Uh, never. Okay, good. I never smoke. I never smoke. Exactly. Okay, good. Yeah, when I say tell me something you never do, do is any verb. I never smoke. I never go. I never eat. I never dance. Mm -hmm. I never watch. <laughs> like, for, for example, I, I watch the news. 
But now in this quarantine, I never watch the news, no more. I stop watching the news. Do you watch the news? No. Sometimes. Yeah, especially if you watch the essay, essay is is crazy. It's drama. <laughs> <laughs> I never. Yeah, I never. I never watch the news. I never read the newspaper. No, no more. Never watch. Diche, me? Yes. I never walk alone on the street at midnight. Very good. That, that's very good. I never even walk in midnight. <laughs> never be in the street in midnight. No. Okay, good. Yeah. So listen, we have frequency, free, frequently. Okay, look. So, never is 0%, correct? Mm. Yeah. So, always is 100%. Yeah. So, 50 is sometimes. Sometimes is 50%. So this is like, ah, this is C, this is no. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's 50%. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember, this is called frequency. Okay. This is how frequent we do one thing. So never is 0%. After never, we say hardly ever. What do you think is hardly ever? No. Casi nunca. Exactly. Alguna vez. No, that would be sometimes. Okay, para ustedes que tienen más peso, más frecuencia, algunas veces o casi nunca? Algunas veces. Algunas veces. Es más frecuente. Okay, good. So, hardly ever is casi nunca. Seldom? What do you think is seldom? Like uh, almost? Yeah. Seldom? Uh -huh. Rara vez. Rara Rara vez. vez. Yeah. Rara vez. Y aquí está el famoso sometimes. What is sometimes? A veces. A veces. Good. Usually? Casi siempre. Usualmente. 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 Frequently? Frequentemente. Frequentemente. Y always. Siempre. So, si yo digo, I usually eat pupusas and I seldom eat pupusas, what is more frequent? Usually, right? Usually. Mm -hmm. So, if you ever ask me, teacher, what is the difference between hardly ever and seldom? What is the difference? The two are a frequency but seldom is more frequent than hardly ever. But it's a very, very low frequency. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Teacher, what is the difference between sometimes and frequently? Oh. Frequently is more frequent than sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is how you do it. Now, this is the question. How often? So you ask how often? Con que frecuencia? Yeah. How often do you... Is for Lou. Hold on, please. 
a compliment. How often do you? How often do you, the verb and the complement. So for example, how often do you eat sopa de patas? The I end? never. Okay. I never. Seldom. Uh, seldom. Seldom. <laughs> Okay, so then the answer is I, the frequency adverb, when the frequency adverb is this. Okay, the, so I can do seldom, I seldom, I seldom eat sopa de pata. I usually eat sopa de pata. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing very important here, the verb. Okay, now this is the important thing here, okay? We say I, the frequency adverb, and the verb. The frequency adverb, it's always, always between the pronoun and the verb, okay? So for example, it says, how often how often do you go to the beach? I seldom, I seldom go to the beach. That's the correct form. This is not correct. Seldom I go to the beach, no. I go to the beach seldom, no. I seldom sit, no, come on. I beach seldom go, no, I don't know what, no. <laughs> It's always I, the frequency adverb, and the verb. Okay? Yes? No? Yes. Okay. So let's practice here. So we're going to practice. Yesenia. Yeah. Can you please ask Herbert a question with how often? Okay. Uh, who? Herbert. What is the name? Herbert. Okay. Herbert Antonio. Are you there, Herbert? Okay. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. <laughs> All right, okay. cool. Um, hi, Herbert. How often do you go to the beach? Um, I usually go to the beach. Very good. Herbert, please ask somebody except Yesenia. Yesenia, how no, often do you... Except Yesenia. Hmm? Sorry? Okay. Ask somebody except ah, Yesenia. <laughs> another person. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, give me oh, one and, second. And don't repeat See. the verb. Ask another verb. So don't repeat go anymore, porque si no todo vamos a hacer, how often do you go to the beach? How often do you go to the movies? How often do you go to, <laughs> to the okay. lake? Go, 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 go. No, change the verb. Okay. Uh, Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan, how often do you eat pizza? Good. Okay. I usually eat pizza. All right. Jonathan, ask somebody except Herbert and Jesenia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Adriana. Hi. Okay. Adriana, how often do you visit your family? I usually my family my is that correct 
Uh, I usually what? Usualmente, I usually visit my family. Exactly. I usually visit my family. Okay. Okay. Ask somebody, please. Except Yesenia, Herbert, or Jonathan. Okay. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Brenda. All right. Hi. Hi. Brenda. Hi, Austin. How? Hi, Austin. How? Hi. Austin. I'm sorry. Hi, often no, is how? How often? How, how often do you, do you exercise? Do you do exercise? Do you do exercise? Mm -hmm. Brenda? I never have exercise. <laughs> I'm sorry, repeat. I never mm -hmm. have exercise. Um, do exercise. <laughs> good. I never do exercise. Yes. Okay, good. Um, your turn, Brenda. Ask somebody, please. Cordelia? Hi. Okay. Um, uh, how often do you study English? Study English. Good. Uh, always. Do I study English? I always study English. I always do. No, I always study English. Only one verb. I always study English. All right, Cordelia, thank you. Your turn. Uh, ask somebody, please. I am, Joe? Yes. Okay. Um, we have, okay, yeah, one. Juan. How, uh, how often do you do you go to park? Do you go to the park? Okay, good. Hi, Juan. Okay, change because I don't think Juan has. Ask Rafael, please. Rafael. Hello. Hi, Rafael. Hello. Hi. How often do you go to the park? Um, I usually go to the park. Good. Good. Okay, please ask Callan. Excuse me? Please ask Callan. Uh, uh, how often, how often do you go to the mountain? Um, I repeat, please. How yes. often do you go to the mountain? Mountains. Ah, the mountain. mountain. Ah. Mm -hmm. Um, I sometimes go to the mountain with my mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. All right, <laughs> your turn, Helen. Okay. Uh, okay. No los nombres. <clears throat> um, ask Victor. Uh, Victor. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Hi, good evening. Okay, hi, Victor. How often do you drink beer? Sometimes. 
<laughs> Don't I sometimes uh, drink beer? Yeah, sometimes it's frequently. <laughs> yeah. Weekend. I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I drink beer and tequila. Tequila. Yeah. I like tequila and beer. Tequila and beer. The last day is that I drink tequila. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I love tequila. I like tequila a lot. I All right. like tequila. <laughs> oh, you don't? Okay, <laughs> Victor, <laughs> ask Marcela, please. Uh, Marcela? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> How often do you cook chicken soup, Marcela? Oh, I I never cook. I don't like cook. I'm an awful at <laughs> cooking. So, so Marcela, so you in general, I, I never cook in general. Yeah. Mm, not, not so true. I, I cook something just to eat, to survive. Amaru Chansu. Yeah. <laughs> lucky. <laughs> I lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now now we're going to change a little bit the story. So we understand how often, correct? Yes. Yes. Now we're going to do the W questions. Do you know what are the W questions? What? When? Where? Let's do those. <clears throat> Remember what, when, and where? Mm-hmm. What, what do you do? Okay, now we're going to do this, look. For example, we have what, so no more how often. Now we have what? What do you, the frequency adverb? Okay, and the complement. Do you understand this? Let me change it a little bit. So we, we're going to do this. What do you, the frequency adverb, the verb and the complement, for example? Let me see, Helen. Hello, Helen. Hi. Helen. Yes, teacher. What do you never drink with pupusas? Never drink. Yeah. Okay, remember, the, the typical Salvadorians, we are Salvadorians, we eat pupusas, and no, there may be only three things we drink with pupusas. So what do you never drink with pupusas? Um, let me see. Um, um, uh, how do you say refresco? I don't remember. Um, you can say a natural drink. Uh, refresco, so how, how the tang, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like. Okay, good. So I never drank tang. Tang, for example. Instant drink. <laughs> tang is an instant drink, right? Instant drink, exactamente. Uh, for example, I never drink tea. Tea with pupusas. Ah, okay, or good. tea. Yes. Or milk. Or <clears throat> milk, yes. My yeah, can, can you imagine milk with pupusas? <laughs> <laughs> or beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no, man. <laughs> yeah, I. what do you always drink with pupusa? Normally, you always drink or soda or hot chocolate. Or coffee. Or coffee. Or coffee. I always drink coffee with pupusas. <laughs> All right, very good. So you see that question? What do you never drink with pupusas. 
Now the question could be, what do you always drink with pupusas? All right. So Helen, luxury. What was that? Who was that woman? <laughs> Helen, please, please ask Carolina a question with where? Where? Yes. Mm, okay. Looking. Well, I'm sorry. Let me let me ask everybody a question so you can get an idea. Um, Herbert. Okay. Herbert, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Herbert, what do you? I'm sorry. Where, right? Where do you never go alone? I never go alone to the beach. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, Yesenia. Hi. Hi. What do you always do in Christmas with your family? Um, I always, no, yes. I yes. always decorate the tree and put. And what? Mm -hmm. uh, I always decorate our tree. Mary, how do you say the arbol? De yeah, the, the Christmas tree. Ah, okay. I always decorate the Christmas tree with my kids and I cut. Okay, good. Good. Juan. Hello, Juan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, good. Oh, good. You have vo <laughs> you have volume. Okay. Juan. Yes, teacher. When do you? Can you hear me? When do you never go to church? Um. Could you repeat? Yes. When do you never go to church? Church. Um, La Iglesia. Yes. I, I go to the church. Mm. Oh, uh, always Sunday. But listen to my question. My question is, when do you never go to church? When, cuando yo nunca. Uh huh. Oco. Yeah. Um. Sorry, teacher, no, I don't understand. Okay, for example, I never go to church on Mondays. Ah, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, uh, I never go to the church on um, on my days birthday, a week. on Halloween, on weekdays. Oh, good, on weekdays. With with days weekdays okay dia de la semana uh -huh. Week. weekdays good um, me i never go to church at all never <laughs> mm -hmm. i never go to church and i never will go to church really <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Laura, are you there? I don't like church. Okay. Hello, Laura, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay, good. I hear you now. <laughs> Laura, can you tell me something you always eat? I 
always eat bread. Okay. Sweet bread or French bread? Just bread. Okay, you always eat bread. Okay, Carolina, are you there? Yes, teacher. Hi, Carolina, how are you? Hi, teacher. Carolina, can you tell me something you never drink? Repeat question. Yeah, tell me something you never drink. Never drink. Mm. Mm. Coca Cola. Okay, complete. Coca Cola. Complete. I never drink Coca Cola. I never drink Coca Cola. Really good. Never, never, never. Never. Good for you. Mm. Adriana, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, Adriana. Hi. <laughs> Tell me, Adriana, what is something, what music do you always listen to? I always, uh, pop, music, pop. I always listen to pop music. I always listen Music pop. I always listen to pop music. Repeat, please. I always. Mm -hmm. I always. Listen. Listen. And the pop music. Exactly. I always listen to pop music. Very good. Okay, thank you. Lisette, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Lisette, can you tell me what is one typical food you never eat? Uh, I never eat uh, pacaya. I don't like pacaya. Oh, really? But pacaya is typical food? I don't know, but it's disgusting. No. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like pacaya with lemon. Really? <laughs> yeah, but... but but I hardly ever eat pacaya. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. But okay. if I have no option, yes, I'll eat pacaya. <laughs> what typical <laughs> food do you always eat? I always eat. Um, uh, I don't. I don't know how do you say cereal. Uh, Kellogg's. Yeah, but listen, typical food. Typical. Typical. Ah. Mm, maybe pupusas. Yeah, you always eat pupusas. Okay, good. All right, very good. Um, can I put Brenda? Yes, Marcella. Yes, Patty. Are you there? Yes. Okay, Patty. Uh, what do you always watch on Netflix? Um, because some people, some people always watch movies and some people always watch series. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always watch movies on Netflix. Okay, good. Yeah. You know, sometimes I don't know if you have that problem with Netflix. I have that problem. I don't know what to watch. Yes. So, so I start looking, 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 and one hour, <laughs> one hour, <laughs> two hours. Yeah. Me too. And then, and then I just, uh, and I, I, I finish watching <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I said, I want to watch a movie. So I start watching movies, what, what to watch. So after one hour, uh, I watch Luisito on YouTube. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. So you understand how to use frequency adverbs then, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now um, we have a terrible situation in, in, in El Salvador and the world. We have a pandemia. Yeah. So here's an interesting question. is like, how often do you go out? Luis? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Luis Lemus, nowadays, do you understand this? Hi, do you understand this expression? Look, I'm going to. Nowadays. Nowadays. Do you, do you see this? Yes. Yes. What What does that mean? Ahora unos días. No, no. Ahora en día. Ningún día. No, no. Now, nowadays, de, de, de ahora. No, no. 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 Yeah, so here's an inter interesting question, because if I ask you, how often do you go to the beach? People say, um, nowadays, I never go to the beach. But nowadays, because of the pandemic, right? Yeah. Or, okay. So nowadays, uh, why, let me see. Yesenia, nowadays, how often do you go to the supermarket? Or how often do you go out? Yesenia? We lost Yesenia. Okay, Luis the Avenatti. Microphone. Yes, the microphone. Patty, thank you. How, <laughs> Patty, nowadays, how often do you go out? Um, I seldom go out. Okay, so you only go out if it's necessary. Yes. Okay, Luis. Lem so, so then your answer would be, I seldom go out nowadays. Okay, I seldom go out nowadays. Good, Luis. Luis Lemus. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. Luis Lemus. Nowadays, how often do you go to a bar? A uh, bar. A uh, bar. As I seldom. To go to the bar nowadays. What a name! Huh? I thought nowadays. Ah, pardon. Who is this? I, Comienza con nowadays. I you know. know. Wait, wait. Luis, Luis, only Luis, please. Luis, yes. na nowadays, how often do you go to a bar? Ahora en día, ¿qué tanto vas al bar? I know. Nowadays, I, I know. I know they, I never go to, go to the park. Okay, thank you, but please don't help. <laughs> Not <laughs> yet. Let him think, let him think. And then you can help, thank you. Yeah, so I, I never go to a bar nowadays. Okay, good. Okay, Jonathan. Hello. Hello, Jonathan. Jonathan, how often, how often do you eat junk food nowadays? Do you know what is junk food? Junk food. Mm, can we add to that? Yes. Okay. I I seldom junk food. Um, I did repeat me the the question, please. <laughs> okay, good. Listen to the verb. Okay. Nowadays, how often do you eat junk food? Okay. I seldom eat junk food. Nowadays. Nowadays. Okay, good. Okay. You know, in in my situation. Nowadays, because of the pandemic, I frequently eat junk food. Really? <laughs> yeah, because delivery, everything is delivery. Um, yeah, sometimes. Case, maybe one one time in the in the week, maybe or when. How do you say cuando me pago? <laughs> when when I get paid. <laughs> when, when I get I paid. Pay. Okay. So I hardly ever 
eat junk food. Okay, no, in my case, I frequently eat junk food because I am working in my house and sometimes I don't want to cook. And I don't know, but yes or no, when you watch Facebook and you say pizza, $4, like, wow, really? $4? <laughs> so what? Pollo Campero. Yeah, like yeah. 10 pieces of Pollo Campero for $7 and you say, wow, that's lunch and dinner. Hey, one please. <clears throat> so I say, hmm, for $4 I can eat a pizza and I don't need to cook? Yeah. I call for pizza, <laughs> but because because I am home and this I, I know it's bad, it's very bad, but the temptation. <clears throat> um, oh, here's an interesting one, Helen. Yes, I'm here. Helen, are you married? Um, no, I am single. Oh, you are. Do you, okay. Laura, are you married? Yes. Okay, good. Here's an interesting question for you. Do you know what is argue? Okay. Yes. Argue, what is argue? Discutir. Okay. Nowadays, how often <laughs> do you argue with your husband? I don't have a husband. But you said you're married. I'm single. Um, I live uh, alone, oh, okay. so oh, I uh, argue with myself. <laughs> oh man, I envy you. I envy you so much. <laughs> okay. No, I'm sorry, but before that, I, I asked you if you're married. I uh, Maybe, and you said no. yes. So, okay, good. Who is married? Uh, Brenda, me. Marcella, Patty? No. Me? No. Me? <laughs> Patty, you're married. Yeah. All right, uh, Patty, how often do you argue with your husband? No, nowadays? I'm not sure. Okay, no. who, who is married? Who said me? Me, yes. Oh, Yesenia, Yesenia, <laughs> thank you. How often do you argue with your husband nowadays? Mm, I never argue with argue. my husband now, argue. I never argued with my husband nowadays. Really? Because, really, because we are in pandemic. <laughs> okay, I frequently argue with my wife nowadays because we are in oh, pandemic. I'm sorry. No, we, my husband, no. Okay, but remember, remember, there's a difference between argue and fight. Fight. Yes. So argue is, is not really like bad, bad, bad. It's, it's just discutir, like yeah. discutir. Mm -hmm. But you know, and I was reading that in the complete world, this is a big problem because uh, married couples are arguing a lot. You know? Mm. Yeah. And it's true. No, but I, I, I have a very good relation with my wife, but sometimes we, now because nowadays, because of the pandemic, we frequently, uh, no, maybe usually. It's more we, frequently. Yeah, it's more yeah, frequent, you. yeah. We usually argue, but because we are 24 hours a day together. <laughs> Even I, I, uh, I, I, um, let me check. I always argue with my kids. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that, that's true. They, they are always try to speak aloud. Yeah, for me, I remember the first week it was good. I was happy with my son, yeah. Second week, third week, one month, I was, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I want, I want to go back to work, please. <laughs> so now four months, ah, it's okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, what about you? Are you okay? No COVID in your family or, or with you? Yes, I am okay with my family because um, uh, nobody gets uh, the COVID yet. Okay, good. Okay, that's very good. So may, um, maybe in September it starts to go down. 
in September. I hope we hope. Yeah, I have a brother. He's a doctor, and um, he tells me that in this moment, El Salvador is in in the right. top. The top. Oh, okay. Right now, right now, we are in El Pico, in the top. Yes. And there is no more top. After the top is down. We hope. Yes, I, I we hope. So maybe, maybe. Uh, so my brother, he says that all the doctors, they say that maybe, maybe in September and October is down. Yes. Uh, we hope because it's necessary for us that we, we, we can uh, have a different life because many people are always uh, argue in their homes like uh, like you told them before yes, and, but true. the the kids are support the situation it's very difficult yes it's true it's very true so but one more one month or two more months and maybe i recommend you i recommend you to watch in Netflix, there is a documentary. It's called "Coronavirus Explained." Have you seen that? No, I didn't know. It's very, very good. Or look for it in in um, look for it in in YouTube maybe. Ah, YouTube. It, yeah. Maybe it's there, but it's called "The Coronavirus Explained," and it's only three episodes. And um, every episode is maybe 20 minutes, 20, but it's very good. So the first episode, it tells you the origin of the pandemia and why. Mm -hmm. yeah. The second, yeah, the second episode, it tells you about the cure. It's true. The cure. And then the third episode, it talks about the consequence of the quarantine like the argue and the problems and the divorce and this and that. It's very, fine very good. Uh, fine economic, how do you say a uh, fine economic? The financial. I financial. Yes, but it's very good. Um, the cure, they talk about SARS, they talk about chicken pox, que es sarampión. Mm. And for example, with Ebola, and, and you, have you seen that sometimes people say the cure exists, but maybe next next year? Yes. Uh, Ebola, yeah. No, 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 for, for COVID. Coronavirus. Ah, uh, for coronavirus. Uh, and, I... pe and people say, oh, why? If it's next year, then they do have the cure. I was one, but when I watched that program, it explains why. Mm -hmm. And and the reason is because, for example, it's sarampion, I think. Mm -hmm. Back in the 70s or 60s, when, no, or I forgot what year, when sarampion was very, very big, they took 18 months to find the cure. 18 months. 18 months. 18. 18. But now, for now, it's like, oh man, there's a cure, there's a cure, and um, for SARS, salpullido, I think for salpullido, they took five years to find a cure. I think that uh, all the pandemic, all the illness, and uh, the science people uh, needed more time for a uh, find the. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's a good news in this moment because there are two laboratories that have the cure, mm -hmm. but the problem is that the cure has three steps. It has to go, mm -hmm. and three, three phases. Uh, phase number one, of course, on try it on people, on 1,000 people. Uh, phase two, I think you wait three months to see the reaction. And if the reaction is good, okay, phase two. Phase two, and then, the, you know, if the reaction is good, phase three, and then phase four, the OMS says, okay, world, we have a cure. So right now, 
there is a cure in phase three. So they're waiting for phase four. It's very interesting. Watch, it's it's a very good show. Watch it. In Netflix or YouTube. I watched it in Netflix, but maybe it's in YouTube. It's coronavirus explained. I will find in YouTube tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it was um it's very, very good. The, the Chinese people, it was their fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um Okay, so tomorrow uh, we're going to practice something different, but do you have any questions about the class today? No, no I don't you. have any questions. Oh, Excuse me, I have a question. Okay, please. Okay. Uh, what is, oh, what is the correct pronunciation? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, what is the correct pronunciation, teacher? Excuse me, my English is... Uh, a little at the moment. Uh, what is the correct pronunciation? Often or often? Because I hear sometimes often and in other people. Okay, very good question, Byron. It depends on your fluency. The two are correct. But if you if you speak if you speak slowly, often. But if you speak fast, often. Yeah. Okay. But that's Thanks, a very good. That, that's, no, no problem. That's a very good question. It, it it all depends on your fluency. I recommend you to speak slowly. Slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Teacher. For example. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. No problem. I recommend you that when you cannot pronounce a word, like um. Let me see, what is a difficult word to pronounce? I can't think of one right now. Give me a word. Refrigeradora. Refrigerator. 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 Okay. And I say refrigerator. Uh, no, it's, it's with two. Ah. Okay, number one, I, I, I spoke with my class last time. One, very, one thing I don't like about English is this. The, pronunci the pronunciation of this is this. Daughter. Daddy. In English, we say this, but the pronunciation is this one, correct? One. I mean, in Spanish, in Spanish, this, this, this is the pronunciation one, correct? One. One in English, and in Spanish, yo lo digo como un one. Or, or one. One. Yes. Daughter. Yo si lo oigo. Daughter. Yeah. No. This is one thing I love about Spanish. Puerta. Puerta. The pronunciation is puerta. Hola. The pronunciation is. Hola. A lo que voy es que el español como se escribe se pronuncia. Beautiful. Mm. En inglés no. <laughs> Imagínense. Parece daughter. One, se dice daddy. Daughter. Ajá. Ah. Entonces a lo que voy cuando les cuesta pronunciar algo, escríbanlo como lo oyen. Solo ustedes se van a entender su propia mm. nota. Mm -hmm. ¿Me entienden? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Como daughter, 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 daughter. One, one. O pongan el tilde a la one. Eh, por eso que a veces cuesta, porque, pero miren en inglés, puerta. Un gringo lo leyera puerta. Lo mismo. Hola, 
Hola. Entonces, es lo bonito, el español, cómo se escribe, se lee y se pronuncia el inglés, ¿no? Entonces, escríbanlo como lo oyen, pero pónganlo en paréntesis. Que así se pronuncia, no es que así se escribe. Ok. Ya, porque si alguien le, alguien le pega su nota, dice que hey, es one. Uno. No, one se escribe así. Ah, sí, pero esta es mi nota, así lo digo yo. Good. Y cuando les cueste pronunciar una palabra, díganla en sílabas. Por ejemplo, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Cinco. Refrigerator. Ah, okay. Digámoslo en cuatro. Referee. Gerator. Referee. Gerator. Digámoslo en tres. Referee. Gerator. Referee. Gerator. Digámoslo en dos. Referee. Gerator. Referee. Gerator. Y después en una. Referee. Gerator. ¿Me entienden? En la que le cueste, si le cuesta en tres, ahí quédense. Y díganlo. Pum, pum. Pum, pum, pum. Pum, pum, pum. And then go to two syllables, <laughs> and then one syllable, and boom. That's how you practice your fluency okay. and your pronunciation. Okay. okay. Yo decía refrigerero. Ah, yeah. No, it's you refrigerator. Decía... Okay. Uh -huh. No, it's here. Yeah. Good okay. Tips. Yeah, I always practice. Okay, then um, have a very good night, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you, see you tomorrow. teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.